Hey guys, Mike Noel here. We're about to waste another perfectly good hour talking about all things blockchain. So let's get Shauna up. Lots of things happening in blockchain today. Okay, so my forte into blockchain. Of course, it was a lot of the Bitcoin curiosity a couple of years ago, um, but I really didn't get fully, I would say, obsessed with it until I was on stage. Um, <laughs> and I was in St. Petersburg, Russia, and the prime minister had chosen me and uh, quite a few other really good people to be on stage. And I was, of course, focusing on Watson and AI and speaking to about 4,500 attorneys that he had brought in to learn more about advanced technology. Susan Mike. is our executive director of diversity in blockchain. And we, of course, have our base of founders, which we're going to hear from today. But I wanted to make sure that everyone got an opportunity to hear from Susan and she can give us a quick update on kind of how we founded uh, diversity in blockchain. I am currently the executive director director of the organization, but I'm on equal footing with each of my co-founders. We are all significantly putting in a lot of hours to make this move forward because we all passionately believe in the mission of this. I've always been in the syndicated loan space. That's kind of what my background is. And so I've always been on the investment banking. Um, I've always been in leveraged finance, managed loans, um, did a bunch of restructuring and reorganization for um, companies during the credit crisis. And so I, you know, mostly in my career covered big industries, so financial institutions as well as technology. How I got into blockchain was this, and I'm kind of embarrassed when I say this, I got into it out of defensiveness and a little bit of fear, actually, because I had been for many years a transactional lawyer working on leveraged finance matters, loan documents. And I started hearing about banks a few years ago, beginning to look into smart contracts. I was actually at a at a cocktail party and a bunch of people about a year and a half ago and a bunch of people were talking about blockchain and crypto and I, I really didn't know what they were talking about so I very politely um, smiled and shook my head and went home and started reading up on it and read um, the Satoshi white paper and I just thought this is really revolutionary. And so what are the biggest existing challenges that prevent more women to get involved in blockchain? One of the things we're doing here uh, with diversity and blockchain is providing education components for them so they don't have that barrier of entry. They can start to learn and then enter the industry once it gets a little bit more comfortable for them. This is a really great conversation, ladies. Thanks for um, doing this. So I actually, quick question, I want to know how I can get involved with the diversity in blockchain. You were saying you need support in kind of any capacity. Yeah, go to the website and sign up. So it's diversityinblockchain.com okay. and we will remember your name. What's the best way to approach communities who have no exposure to blockchain due to lack of access. It's going to take some time for everybody to understand the full impact, but, you know, just be curious about things. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy days, you know, helping us in the blockchain understand a little more about what you guys are doing, help us understand a little more about blockchain and help people understand a little bit more about how they can be, become engaged and not be afraid of this thing called blockchain.